Well, we are somewhere in the middle of nowhere in Kenya. <laughs> and we've come down the longest track that I think I've ever been on. The bumpiest, the most... It's the best uh, road in Kenya. The best yeah. road in Kenya. I'm with a gentleman called Oscar Mann, who, he has an amazing story. I had an aeroplane crash and I got the steering gear stuck in my throat. And basically I was supposed to die, but I didn't. I was unconscious over a month. And I came back and I, the doctors were amazed and I left hospital very quickly and I'm fit and strong and I run and stuff, but I, I have a brain damage and my voice is like this and my eyes are crooked. Mm -hmm. See, I can switch them. So tell me, tell me about this, um, this plane crash, if you don't mind. Um, tell me what happened, what was the... Um... Ah, it was a very sexy airplane. <laughs> It was a, called a Navion. It was a Navion. from American Air Force from the fighting in Vietnam that mm -hmm. they, they used for reconnaissance. Reconnaissance, yeah. I was going to buy it the next day. I was flying it with Carol Beckwith, who's my girlfriend. I did a sharp turn, and it turns out there was gel in the tank, which got sucked into the carburetor. Mm -hmm. And I was coming into land just above stalling speed, and the engine failed. And we were only like 200 feet up and it just dove into the ground. There wasn't even time to think about switching on again or anything. And uh, I got the steering gear stuck in my throat and I hit my head on the, the dashboard. Carol also, she hit the dashboard and she got hurt and she broke her arm. And the flying doctors came and they said, oh, he's finished basically. And she said, get him to hospital. Mm -hmm. And I, w I was taken to Nairobi hospital and I was unconscious over a month. And the doctors also thought I was gone, but I came back. Yeah, so why did you come back, Oscar Man? I think it's because there's some work that I haven't yet done. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some reason I'm here and it's not finished. Mm. Well, I've actually been thinking about that. And as you said before, I, I'm sort of positive and mysterious and I like making fun of things. Mm. And I thought actually I could really use that with people, you know. I don't get depressed, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not. I mean, most people would have been crushed by this, exactly. but I'm not. This is a magical, a magical building that you're living in, in the middle of Kenya's um, amazing countryside. It's a beautiful place, full of wildlife as well. Cheetahs, cheetahs, leopards, leopards, a lot of giraffe, <laughs> zebra, buffalo, rhinos, mm. they're all around. Yeah, you are. You are about the animals. You are one of the animals. I am, it's true. You are one and of living the here and with my condition, I actually feel very much like an animal. I mean, I'm just sort of moment to moment, you know, which and I realize that's how animals live. Mm. And I live very much like that now. Mm.